51st question the wavelength of an electron accelerated to a potential of 1 volt is dash nanometers rounded off to two decimal places mass of electron Planck's constant and charge of electron are given just so that you guys know that this is a question directly from 12th standard NCRT textbook and uh, we have this chapter on dual nature of radiation and matter which talks about wavelength of particles when they have say a momentum and one of the examples shown is that when an electron is accelerated from a wrist through a potential B okay its wavelength is this of course this particular question we need B is 1 which gives 1.23 nanometers okay so um, we want the wavelength of an electron let's say lambda that's somehow accelerated to a potential of 1 volt okay so when something gets accelerated it gets you know picks up momentum kinetic energy and all that somehow we need to relate that to what the wavelength is so can we do we know of any relation that connects wavelength to either acceleration momentum kinetic energy any of those things yes there is this de Broglie wavelength which is Planck's constant over momentum p okay so if we somehow find the momentum of an electron that's being accelerated to a potential of one volt we can calculate its wavelength but how do we find p let's use energy conservation okay so initially an electron is at rest okay it gains some momentum p as it gets accelerated through a potential of one volt and uh, so this is just use of energy con conservation how do we do that so this potential will do a work on the electron that's what moves the electron right so that work will be charge times amount of potential applied okay that should be equal to the change in kinetic energy which is it goes from zero to gain some kinetic energy let's call it let's call the velocity v over here so the change in kinetic energy is half mv square fine so from this relation can we somehow find what is p yes we know p is mv so let's rewrite this equation into okay so let's bring this two over to this side and uh, let's multiply it by an m we have p square over here so the wavelength we are looking for is h by p which is square root of this term over here which is 2 q v times m Planck's constant is given we know the charge of electron potential is 1 volt and the mass of electron is also given so we can calculate this term and uh, if you calculate it this boils down to 1.23 nanometers i'll see you with another video good luck